Oh my god, I can see you have my baby! Hey folks, this is Dr. Zero with episode 7 of my Raft Survival Game Tips, Tricks, and Strategy Guide. Uh, this is going to be about the radio receiver and the radio tower. Um, I'm going to start from basically just playing through so there's continuity, and then I'm going to enter into new footage and the latest updates and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's pretty painful, but I call it the radio transceiver like dozens of times. It's the radio receiver. Just so you know, I know it's the radio receiver. All right, well, enjoy. Bam. And cool. We got enough for that, too. And we got enough for flippers, so awesome. Yeah, plan ahead. The water thing can really get you. Water or food. It's gonna be incrementally moving backwards here to build. Now that I got the two bottles, it makes this process so much easier. Ugh, you have no idea. Less tedious, that's for sure. On of iron this month. They really got the uh, sunset and water good in this game. I think Subnautica is, at least from the underwater point of view, in Subnautica when you're underwater looking up at the surface, that, I mean, it looks real, but that looks gorgeous. They really got that right in this game. Everything else looks cartoony except that. I mean, that looks really good. All right, well, um, at this point, it's just a lot of building and grinding away. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut from this. Okay, folks, um, this is now going to be uh, November 30th, 2020, so we are all caught up. It's going to be fresh footage with all the latest updates. Um, the only continuity problems I've played for a little bit, I've got an anchor now. So what I would do is, um, you know, you've got your, your weather vane, you've got your sail, and then right behind it, so you can just bam, bam, go right in. I put my anchor right here, and uh, to make the anchor, it's not too difficult. Um, filling it hinges. Yep. All right. So um, other than to get back in the swing of things, um, <laughs> basically, I'm going to be cutting. From this point, you kind of know that, you know, day to day, like how, like how to go to an island, how to to fight the shark, how to get the seagull, basic food, and all that stuff. So I'm I'm at this point, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of grinding, and when I do like uh, major things, that's when I'm gonna cut to that. And um, like, hey, this is how you make the transceiver, or this is how you get to this island, or this thing. All right. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Alrighty. Okay, uh, we've done some grinding. Um, we uh, extended the collection net uh, the full width of the debris field. Um, it's 26. And then I've begun reinforcing them so the shark would no longer attack them. And now I'm going all the way back, and I do it about 14. And then I'm building um, a second level because your transceiver, when you build the transceiver, it has to be above one level. And then... Um, I've built 10 smelters, and I'm going to get ready to move them as I get it all organized. Um, one thing that I have discovered, though, is there's some kind of a ninja stealth change. Um, when you put up uh, storage, you should be able to put walls like this and put two and two, but if you see how one side of it has the boards on it and one side doesn't, well... You can only fit them if they're, the boards are out, meaning that, um, the, see how there's no boards connecting the wall here, so I can fit two side by side, but if I try to do that between here and here, it will not work anymore. And I'm going to cut to um, an, my game, that uh, uh, another play that I'm doing where I, basically I go through everything so I, I know 
Um, I've mastered the technique, so to speak, to show you guys. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, but... Ah, Larry. You ruin everything! You ruin everything! Um... But they've... You could, I could put one here, but I can no longer put that there. But if it's facing away, I can. And I think the reason they did that is because they have large storage now. And I guess... I don't know. I think I can fit a large storage there, but the thing is, um, a large storage... If, um, I'm trying to remember. It holds... Um, I think 80? Uh, we'll check in a second. But with six of these here, I mean... These hold. That's 20. So, you do the math. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20. Ah, math. But, um, I can fit a whole lot more with these stack like this than with the large storage. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut to, um, my other game and I'm gonna show you. Okay, here's my other, uh, play where I've done everything. Just so you can kind of see what the end goal looks like. Anywho, um, these, you can see the storage walls are not aligned like the other ones, but I'm able to fit two, and it looks like the storage boxes are smaller, and then what I did is I, uh, I, I created a new box and put it in there, it won't fit, so I'm guessing in the update, they've made the storage boxes larger, and this is what a large storage box looks like, and you can see how much it holds. So that's, uh, that's 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, yeah, so that holds 40. And if these are holding... That's 20. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 120. So this holds 120 and this holds 40. So I don't know why they made this change, I guess, to make you use these things to get titanium, but... I guess what you can do is, um, since you can no longer put them double stack like this back to back, is each one where you can't, you can put one of these to fill in the space, but it makes it much less efficient. I don't know why they changed this, but I tested it a couple times. You definitely can no, can no longer do this with um, back to back to back to back. They have to have the wooden planks that are like this. They have to both be facing away for you to fit two inside at a time. Uh, oh, well. All right. Back to the other game. Okay, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's slightly annoying, makes it less efficient, but I can put double stacks there and then just three and then a double stack. And that should take care of it. But, um, what I'm going to do now is continue to grind away. Mostly it's just sailing along getting the plastic and planks. And uh, every now and then I'll stop at island maybe get some scrap for nails because I need pillars. Um, and then I'm going to move all my, uh, I'll do two rows of five, and I'll move those, uh, smelters over here in storage, and then I'll have most of my resource storage here, and then I'll have most of my food prep and food storage over here. And, um, okay, well, um, I'll, uh, cut to basically finishing, um, most of my construction, and then we're going to go into the transceiver, because that takes the game to the next level as far as getting to main island. So, spoiler alert, um, once you get the transceiver, you get the large islands. So that's how you progress to get all the next, you know, the new stuff, is you have to have the transceiver, and you have to find the big islands. And, uh, I'm trying to remember the name, it's the uh, radio tower, that's going to be the first thing that unlocks, you know, stuff. So... Spoiler alert. Alright, well, let's go. Alright, so, um, pretty much done doing the main building of this, uh, raft. I've got the width and the length that I want. Um, it's 26 uh, blocks across will get you the entire, um, debris field, except every now and then, you know, the little plastic water balls? One of them will go by, which is kind of bizarre. Just one. I never noticed that in um, other... Maybe it's an update thing, but... If I lose one plastic bottle every five minutes, I really don't care. But, um... Yeah, that's getting the entire debris field. And then I've got my second platform, 
Because you have to be one up off the ground to make the um, the radio receiver, transceiver, whatever. Um, storage is about the way I want it for right now. I'm always going to be upgrading that. Um, I've got my smelters where I want them. I basically got everything uh, where I want it. And I'm going to build from there. Like a farming and bees are going to be all in this area. I'll have um, also uh, animal husbandry. I'll have animals over here. Um, but we are ready to uh, make the, the radio. I'm going to go in here. Let's look what we need. So the receiver. I need to research the circuit board. So I have not done that yet. I was waiting to do that. Ugh. Oh my god, I can't wait to reinforce this so I don't have to listen to this stuff anymore. I got all my nets reinforced, but... Once you get the entire exterior and then anything that's connected to wire like this... He won't bother anymore. I'm gonna have to make two of those, because I need one to, to make it, but I gotta research it. That gives me all this stuff. And boat stuff. We got a receiver, so circuit board. I need two circuit boards and a hinge. There's the one in there. Get out of there. And now, to get that to work, I need a battery, and then I also have to have antenna. So, batteries. Scrap. So I need three antennas. Boards, bolts. All right, more, more of that stuff. Hopefully, I have enough copper. Yep. Yeah, when I'm grinding away, I pretty much collect all kinds of stuff just so when it's time to do things like this, I can just do them. I don't have to stop and go search for stuff. Like when you're in the, the early to mid game and you're about to get to this point, just try to get a little bit of everything. Even if you don't necessarily need it right then. It makes this part of the game a lot easier. Alright. Need bolts. Easy peasy. Gotta have one like kind of close, and then one kind of far away. I believe. Let's see if that did it. Too far. Got it. It's gotta be a little closer. Oh, this guy right here. My bad. 
Yeah, they have to be a certain distance. Okay, there we go. And, um... It's giving me, uh, the, uh, the first thing I need to go to. Let's turn it off. Save your battery life. And then, um... I wonder if that pops up in here yet. It's gonna pop up in Radio Tower. And it's already set. This is how you find the islands. You have to, um... Set it. Okay. And once it gives you a green light, um, you turn it on. And by turning it on, you make the island appear. So that's how you make islands appear. Once you turn it on. If you don't turn it on, then they're not going to appear. But as soon as you turn them on, it's like it makes them exist in the world. For at least, you know, a certain distance. I think two kilometers. I hate wasting battery power. Oh, you look like you're about to... Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you like that, Larry? Oh, you like that? And, um, you can use the heads to uh, mount. You can wear them and stuff, but when you get into, uh, spoiler alert, when you get into biodiesel, I don't know if that's really a spoiler alert. I mean, it's just in the game. It's not part of the story. I'll turn this off. Um, the heads will, um... When you're, the composter, I think it's almost 50%. It'll fill up 50%. So it, it gives a use for, like, um, all the animals you kill, their heads. Like, now it, it becomes useful then. For me, I don't care. I mean, I could make a plaque up here. I, I probably will at some point. But right now, it's just kind of wasting space. Just... See you, Larry's head. Okay, so... It's going to be a while before we get to that island. Okay, so before we get there, there's a little island, and um, some of my techniques for farming, as far as the shark is concerned, have now changed because of the update. Um, he's going to sit by the boat. He's, it's like he's locked into the boat, so if you get away from the island, it's not crazy far away, but farther than you normally would, and um, make sure that he's like on the other side of the boat, then you can basically farm that whole island without having to worry about him. Make sure you get good on your food and all that stuff. But, um, just something to notice. And then, I attack him with the spear now. It's way easier. If you, uh, here, I'll show you. Where you at, buddy? Oh, he just appeared. He just spawned. Like, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Bam. As soon as he, um, opens his mouth like that, and he'll, if you spear him, it'll stop him from hurting you. And I find that that's easier than using the arrows. Well, you can use the arrows. But once he aggroes on you, he's not going to, you're not going to be able to swim far enough away from him to de-aggro him. So he's going to follow you everywhere. Unless you get on an island or you get on your raft again. Or you kill him. So we're going to get back on here. We're going to get some food and water and let him get to the other side. But, um... Just a, a quick note on the shark. I, that's, I spear him now instead of using the arrows. And then just make sure he's on the other side of the raft. And then go to your island. And he's not going to bother you. It, that's, they made it way easier. I think I've mentioned this a million times. And I'll stop mentioning it. But it used to be if you even tipped your toes in the water. He's coming for you. It didn't matter where you were on the map. So a little bit easier now. Alright. And we'll continue on. Okay, so... um Every now and then, go ahead and turn it on. You can see that we're significantly closer. Um, it should appear around the 400 mark, something like that. Again, the trick where um, <clears throat> if you look to the edge of your screen, like you see where uh, my sail is, if I look dead on at it, I can't see it as far away. But if, if I look at it at the edge, I can usually see it even though it's farther away. It's like for islands and stuff like that. You see how this, I can't see the island right now, but if I go to the side, see how it appears? It'll happen with these big islands, too. But, um, every right now and then check. Make sure you're on the right course. If you need to go left or right, adjust. Just make sure you turn your battery off. Oh, Steven. That's my name for the seagull. Steven. You can put two and two together. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll cut to the part where we start seeing the radio tower. 
Okay, we're just about, I think at 400 it'll start to appear. Spoiler alert, this is the radio tower. This is first, like, story part of the game. If you want to figure this stuff out for yourself, stop watching now. But that's the whole point of these videos, is that people can't, like, figure this stuff out. Alright, there it is. You see it? It's just starting to appear. So roughly around 400 islands will appear like that. Okay, we're gonna go head over there. And... Go ahead and do a little cut here. Okay, so this is the radio tower. This is the first step in your journey to getting all the new devices and things, all the little gadgets. You gotta start here. This is basically your first island. Um, there is some stuff down there, and I haven't done this in a while, but you don't really need much, but you need, make sure you bring enough water and food so you don't have to like, stop and come back. But I've made a bed, so if you're kind of late in the day, just wait and sleep. But I've done this at night, so it's not that big a deal. But just go ahead and get all the stuff you need. So you got food, um, swimming stuff. Um, not going to need planks. Make sure you're free up on stuff. But I haven't done this in a while, so forgive me if I don't remember how to do it perfectly. Okay. He's over there. So there is stuff under here. I'm trying to remember if there's anything you need under here. Just remember when you're searching for things, they're going to be all glowy. So they're glowy. There's scrap and other stuff in here. And, um... I don't really care about any of that stuff. I just need the story elements. That's all I'm caring about. But yeah, there's free stuff in here, but I mean... Just checking my nets, I get more stuff than this for doing nothing. Uh. Okay, so, alright, so we got a note right there. The note's gonna be in here, so. Um, pause it right here if you wanna read this. Okay. The notes are more, there might be important stuff in there, they're like little, uh, I think in later islands you need to read them because there's information that lets you solve puzzles, but I'm not sure on this one if you need to or not. But yeah, try to get all the notes, complete everything. Uh, there's some resources under here, but I mean nothing special. Alright, how do we get up here? Right here? No. Let's see. I remember it's one of these guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. There you go. This uh this point of interest is um lots of parkour, so to speak, lots of jumping. Oh no, Bruce is after me. Bruce is the name of the shark, but I call him Larry, so it's just me. Yeah, I got it. You name him Bruce. I don't. Let's reinforce that. Is there a sign that's even bigger than that? <laughs> and you really want to go over these places with a fine um, tooth comb. Um, some of the things you're supposed to activate, um, they're glowy, but I've missed them on different islands. So just make sure you're going methodically and checking every single corner. Double check it. You've got time. Uh, just keep in mind the shark is, I mean, you do you do have time and you don't have time. Shark is annihilating your boat and the bird's taking out your crops. But, I mean, big deal. Alright. Other notes. Go ahead and pause it if you want to read all of it. Okay. 
right, I'll go back over that and read it. I'm fairly certain I don't need to know any of this stuff. It's just kind of cool story elements. Uh, yeah, here. Pretty sure it's parkour time. It's gonna be getting dark. This game, you know, it almost seems like every time you get onto uh, one of the islands or things like this, it's just like always dark all the time. So, I really wish they would get um, some type of lighting source that you can carry around. Maybe I'm um, not very intelligent and I've missed that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you gotta jump up there. Yep. And your inventory gets filled up with this stuff too, which I don't need. I don't need a plank right now. I mean, scrap is nifty. If you run out, just get rid of all that stuff. I mean, your boat can get that. You'll get it later on. Just make sure you're keeping up with your food and your water. This game is pretty aggressive in how fast it goes down. Note, another note. Go ahead and pause it if you want to read it. I'm skimming it. Um, they're gonna have basically the uh, coordinates for Balboa Island. Just gonna have a lot of nifty stuff on it. I'm trying to remember if you get the advanced cooking thing here or not. So you're getting lots of recipes already. It might be on Balboa Island, but I can't remember. Balboa Island is probably the lengthiest. I went through all the latest islands and it takes a long time. I'll be honest. Now that I've done it once, I probably would be able to speed run it. Well, I don't know speed run, but faster than I originally did it. Parkour. Yay. So that's what this point of interest is a lot about, is jumping shit. So you know. Do I have to jump to that? think. I think it's that. Yeah. I always check exteriors first. Just used to doing that from uh, seven days to die. <laughs> always useful stuff outside. Alright. I think we gotta go one more level up. Let's just check everything. Here's a seagull eat my crops. Not that I care, it's just a bunch of radishes. Here. Enjoy it, Steven. Enjoy it. Yeah. Fall damage. You have to be really high to take fall damage in this game. Alright, so, um... Note. Go ahead and pause it. If I want to read it. A lot of this is just uh, story stuff, but it's kind of cool that they put it in there. Yeah, let's see. Headlight? Huh. That must... <laughs> I was talking about having a light source, and now they have a headlight that I apparently have missed this entire time. But when I first did this, that was not there. Alright, and then we got here probably gonna give yeah that's Balbo Island or no no this is the boat Visigotten 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 yep that's the boat it's not too hard but it's definitely a little bit of time to go through the boat you're gonna have to fight these little rat monsters again spoilers spoilers if you if you're still watching this you obviously want to know how to get through these like uh, islands or points of interest so, I'm not going to say spoilers anymore at this point. You, like, just stop watching. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, that's it for this. 
You know, the rare receiver, it gets you this island, and then that gets you, um, people. So that's, when we go back down there, um, yeah, we, um, when we go back to the rare receiver, we're going to hit that number, and it's going to give us that island. It, it basically magically makes it appear. Just to show you real quick. Uh, I've already started reinforcing. I don't have to deal with this anymore. I always want to, when you start reinforcing, pick the points that are farthest to the edges. Because if you're in the center, it's, you know, that's what's going to take you along. And I'll also get your nets first. So you're just going to come up here. Turn this on. 9558. Alright. Bam. That's now made that island appear. So all we gotta do is go forward and we're good to go. And that's it. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna close it out. I'm gonna be doing it more like, um... It, like, no more playthroughs. It's just like, okay, this is the radio receiver. This is this gadget. This is this point of interest. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. And then, uh, that new headlamp, um... Hmm not use that before so maybe we can finish off with that need a battery I'm not I have not researched a battery yet I'm a big dumb. headlights this one in here and the battery Need a rope, uh huh? Just tied around your head. Head away. I'm guessing that's going in here. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I was literally just saying, man, I wish they had this, and they have it. And uh, you don't need the blueprints. You can just throw them away. I don't even know why it's in the game. Once you. Once you pick it up initially, all you gotta do is, um... Um, we'll take this off. I'm probably wasting battery here. Um, when you initially research it, all you have to do is go into, uh... That, it'll say, learn, and you learn it. And that's it. Alright, so that's the headlight. Well, cool. I didn't know that was in the game. Um, I have to research on how to turn it on and off. Be cool if there's an on off button. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, close this one out, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And take it easy. Dr. Zero Gaming Videos. Not gonna pay for music. Subscribe, like, and share. Bow, bow.